Welcome to one minute. What the hell? So here we are playing Michael Jordan's Chaos in the City, the Windy City that is, by Electronic Arts. It's an EA game. Uh, kind of reminiscent to, uh, you know, that game, Shaq Fu. Not expecting much from this game. Exactly what comes to mind is Shaq Fu. Never really played this game before. Let's check out the option menu. Yeah, you see there's a difficulty. There is pretty much a full rundown on how to play this game. Here we have some sort of a comic strip. Actually, it's pretty cool. And we have some sort of map. It sort of looks kind of like Shaq Fu type of deal right here. And, uh, I have no idea what the hell that is. It almost looks like a level layout. So this is the game right here. It looks like a platformer with Michael Jordan. Very, very weird. You throw basketballs at people. Look at that. Check that out. I think we have doors with padlocks on them. So I'm, I'm assuming that we're going to have to unlock these doors later on. Yeah, there's actually a pair of keys up here. If you push up. Oh. Here, oh, there is a button that unlocks these doors. It's actually pretty cool. We have some crazy looking enemies. It's like a spider. Eight spiders. So it looks like you can actually dunk inside these damn things. Yeah, that zombie with a basketball head. That was pretty damn strange. Look at that. So far, the game is actually not that bad, as far as I can see. Yeah, let's see if you go down here. We have another padlock. And uh, it looks like a fellow basketball player right here. You can actually talk to him. Look at this. It's like an RPG type thing. So the game does appear to be a little tacky and kind of lame a little bit, but the gameplay so far is actually, surprisingly, it's not really that bad. I guess we have a green key. So, assumingly, I think it's going to go in this little keyhole over here. Up on the platform. That thing is creepy as hell. Probably one of the scariest SNES characters I've ever seen. So you can see there, there's a net. You can actually jump up. And, uh, let me see if I can do this correctly. And dunk your basketball right in the net, which is actually pretty cool. And now I got the gold key, so now you can actually unlock all these uh, doors that weren't previously unlocked. I think down here there's a golden door right here. You got these bats that attack you also. They're a little bit smaller, so they're a little bit more difficult to hit. And whatever that is down below, that... Especially with that web and everything. Oh man, that's scary looking. That looks like almost like something that would be in a splatter house or something. That is terrifying. Another net right here. I think that's probably the coolest part of the game is... It's like a basketball game, but you don't have to worry about actually playing basketball, you can just slam dunk things right there, just like that. Looks like I got a new pair of sneakers. Almost like NBA Jam when you're on fire. Ooh. Oh, check that out. You can actually break the actual ground itself. We just shoot the basketball at the ground. That was actually pretty cool. I thought it was going to suck. But so far I'm actually having a little bit too much fun playing this game. What the hell, you son of a bitch. Okay, so I'm going to end the review right here. This is probably the first 20 minutes of the game, I say. And uh, the game, believe it or not, it's actually very, very fun. I'm going to give it a good review. I'm going to probably say yes. I would probably recommend playing it. Of course, I haven't played that much far into the games as of yet, but based on what I've played so far, of course, I think I'm missing a key now, but based on what i played so far, I would definitely uh, recommend playing this game. Uh, difficulty seems about right. It's not too hard. It's not too easy. It's about medium, the graphics are quite nice, the sound effects, you know, it is what it is. Probably not perfect, but 
The gameplay is actually pretty fun. It's a little tacky, but it's still fun. Thank you.